You guys, can we talk about how romantic my hubby is? Look at this. I come downstairs, he has my coffee ready for me, and he made me lunch in the fridge. I just love him. And the post-it notes continue. <laughs> Don't forget salsa. And then the salsa's in here and it says ready to go. He's so cute, you guys. He hasn't done this in so long. When we first started dating, he used to do this all the time. And if I ever see a little post-it note, I just get so excited. I don't know. And I like to keep them too. Call me crazy. Crazy in love. Hey guys, what's going on? So it is 424. I've been home for about 15 minutes, maybe 20. And I'm just hanging out on the couch with my ride or die chick right here. Hi mamas. Uh oh, is it blurry? Was it blurry that whole time? Gosh darn it. Is that your toy? Huh, that Bachan got you? But yeah, so we're just hanging out. Hubby is in the kitchen right now making my most favorite meal ever. You guys know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Right there. Hi, love. Hello. Chiles de años. And we didn't film it, sorry, because honestly, that's a video that would take us. What, Angel? I didn't leave you. Mommy's right here. Like that would take a long time, honestly, yeah. for us to try to film something like that. Cause there's, it's a, it's a multi-step process. It's a lot of work. Um, and that's why Eham like only makes it when he's like really craving it because he says it's a pain in the ass to make. Um, but yeah, so hopefully tonight, once we're done eating, if this little stinker lets us, um, we're going to do the voice, well, Eham will attempt to do the voiceover for his video. So hopefully we can get that started and then I can do the final edits on it because I just have the rough edit because I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Um, and I have subscribers, thank you. Yes, and he says thank you for subscribing. He's going to get it done. But we definitely need video ideas. Somebody wants, uh, Jacqueline wants carne asada fries, so that could be easy. That could be the next one. I feel like that would be really simple. And maybe people who don't even live in Cali don't even know what carne asada fries are, so that might be a good one to do and um but yeah so food is almost done i'm so excited i'm stolen woven watch up she had she left her little hamburger bun on the floor oh they want you to like step on it and fall grab your hamburger bun good job let's go in the, in the i was almost like kitchen let's go in the living room but yeah so i'm just home work was good it's good i uploaded two videos today guys so check them out my August recap and then yesterday's vlog. So check those bad boys out. But yeah, I'm gonna hang out with this little this little one here and I'll check in with you guys, I guess when the food is done so you guys can salivate over it. <laughs> Getting ready to sit down for dinner but I have an important question for you guys. Have you ever gotten a haircut at Ulta or any type of hair service at Ulta? Now I'm sure every Ulta salon is gonna be different than the one I'm going to. But I really, really need a haircut desperately. I think I've said this before. I haven't had a haircut in over a year. My ends are disgusting. And I really want to get a haircut, but I'm just kind of like scared to like go to places for a haircut. And I, I, I feel like I go to expensive salons and they charge you an arm and a leg and you still don't like it. And I feel like because I have long hair, they charge me even more money than the already expensive price. And my one friend I used to go to is in California and I totally trusted her. She did an awesome job on my hair, but obviously I'm not in Cali anymore. So I was thinking of going to Ulta and trying it out there, um, but I don't know. I'm just kind of like, do they have a good, I don't know. And then I was actually thinking of going to Fantastic Sam's. Ooh, sorry, honey. Um, going to Fantastic Sam's, but then I was like, uh, you know, I was like, do you really want to go there? And I'm like, well, if you get a good person, then I mean, should be a good job. But I don't know. So definitely let me know what, uh, if you guys have ever gotten a service at Ulta. I'm just curious what y'all think. Because it says it's $37 for a shampoo, conditioner, a consultation, a haircut, and a blowout. So that seems kind of like a good price. But I don't know if they're going to charge me more when they see... Ow. My hair got stuck on my ring and it hurt when they see long, my long hair. But they do have this thing. So I thought this was kind of cool. So I'm like... I posted on my Facebook, hoping one of my friends will do it. We're like, if you don't have an Ulta rewards account, which I feel like everybody has an Ulta rewards account, but if somebody uses your link to sign up for Ulta rewards account, they get $10 off of a $30 purchase and you get $10 off a $30 purchase. 
So I was like, if I can use that towards a haircut, then that would be even cheaper. So that's kind of another reason why I was like, maybe I'll get a haircut at Ulta because I can save money. <laughs> if somebody's, I'm actually going to try to have you know, I'm actually use that link and see if we get both get a $10 gift card. Um, so I'll let you know if it works. I think I'm gonna actually attempt to sign them up tonight, but I need to close this window and need to get ready for dinner, so I'll check in with you guys later. Someone was having a bit of a meltdown, as you can see here. That's why the volume is on mute, because you don't wanna hear all that. But I really wanted to show you guys my food. So here was dinner, just a chile, potato, rice, and beans, and it was so good, y'all. It's 6.42, I'm gonna go ahead and do the questions of the day. There is two, one from Carissa XO, and she asked, um, who were my favorite YouTube subscribers under 20K, so under 20,000. And to be honest, I was looking and I guess I don't have a lot of people I'm subscribed to under 20,000. I have a lot in like the 40 to 60 range. And then I have a lot in like, I don't, I don't know if it's a lot, but I have a couple in the millions and then a couple hundreds of thousands. Um, but under 20,000, pretty much everyone that I'm subscribed to that I like actually watch on a regular basis, they are pretty much planner videos. So I really like J. Crew Plans. Um, is it Pretty Planning? Let me look at my phone. J. Crew Plans, Pretty Planning. I think it's Pretty Planning. Um, I have to look. But I like Exo Mama Plans. I just got like lately, like I, I think I've said this to you guys, I think you guys are aware. I've just gotten really into the planner videos, like big time. Uh, Mandy Dreams is one of them. Uh oh. Hold on, Alondra, you just took mommy's phone. It is, it's pretty planning. So most of the people under 20K that I watch a lot are planner people. So um, if you're into planner videos, I would definitely say check them out. Krista's the only one that's not a planner. A video girl she like I said yesterday she has a lot of blog posts but she does post on YouTube she posts a lot of um, mommy type videos so um, but yeah so anyways who are your favorites I guess under 20k and if you guys watch or subscribe to me and you guys have a YouTube channel go ahead give yourself a shout out down below and then I will check out your channels and the second question was from Alejandra she said um like good money saving tips like what are my good like ways to save money or money saving tips i like to save money by doing a couple of things i cut out a lot of things that i actually liked doing and spending money on myself i cut a lot of that out i used to get a manicure pedicure twice a month sometimes once um i'd no longer do that as you can tell um i used to get my eyebrows done once to twice a month i no longer do that as you can tell um what else Oh, I used to have like a waxing. I stopped doing that, like a like at um, European waxing, I think is what it's called. Anyways, I stopped. I stopped my membership there. Um, so I and I stopped Ipsy. I used to do Ipsy that ten dollar monthly subscription. I used to do those unboxings on my channel. Um, I stopped that subscription. So I stopped a lot of those things to save money. Um, I feel like if you really need to be on a budget, and you need to save money. Those are not nece necessity things. Those are not necessary. For you to have to survive so I just feel like yeah cut that kind of stuff out the only thing I did keep for myself was my massages which is a monthly thing and that is $59.99 so it's kind of expensive but for a massage that's a really good price because one hour massages can be like in the hundreds so I did keep that one thing for myself the other thing I do to save money is I coupon now I'm not a crazy coupon lady I wish I could get my groceries for free I am not that good at it but I do coupon. I definitely use my coupons. I, at Target, I use the Cartwheel app. Um, I also bring in those those bags. I wanna do a Target savings video. I feel like I say that all the time. I just keep forgetting to like actually film those clips when we're in Target. Um, but yeah, I use coupons. I find ways to save money, just like with this whole like Ulta haircut thing that I'm thinking about. You know, if I post that link and people sign up, you know, to just get an Ulta rewards card, we both get ten dollars so that kind of stuff i really like like referral things i look for referrals whenever i see any of my friends post referrals too and i don't have it i definitely sign up because usually if you sign up for something that you want to sign up for and it's a referral you usually get something for them it so it's pretty much a good deal to do that also um besides couponing and stuff like that 
Um, there's a website called Ebates. Now, um, I've talked about it before and I thought, honestly, it was like uh, not a, like a real legit thing, but it is because I've gotten several checks, so has Edom, from Ebates. And basically what it is, it's an online shopping tool where you get paid to shop from your favorite stores, which is mind-blowing. So like, say, for instance, uh, Forever 21, I have a basket full of items in my Forever 21 basket. Will I check out and actually purchase those items? No. Um, do you guys do that too? I love to go on websites and like put a bunch of shit in the basket, but I never check out. Because I feel like I'm shopping without spending money. The only thing that sucks is though, is that those items never arrive at my door. I don't know why. <laughs> but eBay. So for instance, if I actually wanted to purchase those items in my basket at Forever 21, you go log on, you create an account through Ebates, right? You log into your Ebates account. You search for whatever store, and they have thousands of stores. Forever 21 is one on there. So you search for Forever 21 on Ebates. You click on the link that Ebates has, and it redirects you to Forever 21's website through their special link. And then you just shop like you normally would. Once you check out and pay for your items, it'll send Ebates a message that you purchased something, and you get cash back. Now, they send you your money like every three months, I think it is, and a check. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty awesome it's a great way if you're gonna do online shopping or shopping in general do it through ebates first before you just go to this website and start shopping so that's a great money saving tip if you want to sign up for ebates i have that link always in my description box so open up the description box sign up um through that link and yeah you can get started through ebates that's a referral link i, I don't know if you guys get something do you guys get something i think you do usually referral links both people get stuff um, but don't quote me because I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, so that's another great money savings tip. And then, I don't know, I'm trying to think like what else. Like shop at thrift stores, I love doing that. I mean, I like to sell my clothes at Plato's Closet to get extra cash. I also sell Alondra's clothes that I no longer want at Once Upon a Child to get extra cash. I don't know if that's like a money saving tip or if that's like a way to get to make money. But I mean, those are kind of just some of my tips. I'm sure there's other ones that I'm forgetting. But I'm just a very money-conscious person. I've always been really into saving money. Um, so I hope you did find some of those useful. Um, I hope I helped. But if you guys have any good money-saving tips, definitely those down below. Because I'm always looking for ways to save money. You know? But anyways, my boo's getting ready to go on his massage at 6.52. Say bye. I love you. That was a close-up of your face. Say bye, Papa. Toodles. So he's getting an hour and a half massage, so he won't be back till 8.30. But you know what, though? I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because, honestly, nothing's going to happen with me. My I stomach's... Like you're at nine. I need to go get gas. Well, baby, you can take my car. I need to get gas for my car, regardless. Oh, never mind. All right, I love you. Drive you safe. Too. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and just end the vlog because, honestly, nothing's going to happen tonight. And my stomach's really been bothering me ever since I got home. It really sucked. Love I just you. have like really bad. I love you too, babe. Drive safe. I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. My stomach just really hurts. And so I'm just kind of like blah. So I'm going to end the vlog. So thank you for the questions of the day. I really like that. I hope you guys are liking it too. If you have a question for me, just leave it down below. If you want me to answer in a video, you can put like QOTD or question of the day, whatever. And I will answer it in tomorrow's vlog. So thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Gorda, can you say bye? Oh, kissy? Oh, kissy, kissy. Give a kiss. Give a kiss. Okay, fine, bye.